Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Your Best Life. Now, uh, this is a, uh, I want to say rolling right, but I guess you call them flipping fills, because instead of rolling dice, you flip cards. And um, this is a game where the subject matter is trying to live your best life. Uh, you have life goals of things you want to do that bring you joy. You have... Um, uh, you know, all different kinds of things. You could try to pursue career. You could try to pursue relationships. You could pursue money. You could pursue um, love online because uh, social media likes are a thing that are kind of like a wild bonus. Or, or actually, luck is a wild bonus, but um, likes on social media can give you stuff. And um, yeah, it is a game where we play through, I, I think, I want to say it was eight rounds. Or maybe, you know, it was ten rounds, which I guess each round represents like... Uh, half a decade or something like that, of your life as you're trying to chase after your long life-term goals while still just trying to be healthy and happy and, in a lot of ways, interacting with other players. Because, I mean, there are some actions like vacations that are so expensive that it's hard for you to do it by yourself, even though they can be a huge, valuable influx of resources and knowledge and experiences. But um, if I if I look around and say, oh, uh, this round, I the card I chose, because there's four cards that give you a different collection of attributes that you so I could choose the card that will give me a like on social media and some knowledge, but it will also stress me out, which means I have to roll a stress die and it might fill my stress meter up. Or there could be this really chill, laid back one that actually relaxes me, but um, only gives me um, one social. I, I, I go out and hang out with friends and I relax, so my stress meter goes down. But that's all I needed. I just needed my stress meter down, and I needed the. Uh, Oh, what do you call it? The the social, because that let me um, get married, right? And, or, you know, it let me cross the progress line on my social meter that gave me some money. And now, all of a sudden, in addition to everything else, I'm starting to do a combo chain. I've got money. And I might look over and say, oh, I see you chose a card that gave you money. Hey, do you want to join up? And I'll spend half, and you can spend half, and we can go on a vacation together. And we can split the rewards of that vacation. So, this game um, has a, you know, it, it's interesting, too, because you could play it as a single. Single. You're a single person throughout your entire life, or you can play it as a couple. Where I've got my character board, you've got your character board, and we have a communal family board where we're both working and we both have to get our final score up to score at the end of the game as a couple. This is an interesting game. You could play this as a six player game. Two players are a couple, and the other four players are all singles. And yet it all works out uh, in the final scoring to see who wins. And yeah. I love it. I love this subject matter. I love rolling rights. I love big, crunchy, uh, chunky, combo-laden rolling rights, which is what this is, definitely. Uh, you know, much like... Um Oh, what was I talking about? Um, you know, earlier I was like talking about you know, Fleet the Dice game or Gone Shown Clever. This game has all of that kind of combo chain um, setup and payoff going on, but it has probably my favorite uh, setting for any roll and write or uh, flip and write ever. It's my number two of the month, and my wife loved it as well. Man, we both love this game so much. Your best life. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.